So in every company, there's almost a river, which I call the money line. There's a river of things going through the company. And the closer you are to that, that, that assembly line, that river of things that really makes the money flow in the company, the higher you're going to get paid. So it's not that, not that everybody in the company isn't important and they have a role to play. I'm just saying your proximity to this line is going to affect you know, your, your, your compensation. Right? And when I say compensation, I'm talking about more than just your salary. I'm talking about vacation. I'm talking about stock options. I'm talking about your ability to make your own decisions, your autonomy. I'm talking about your whole compensation package, right? So that's what I'm talking about when you talk about the money line. So what I encourage people to do, especially here in 2022, is wherever you're working, right? Wherever you're working right now, even if you're an entrepreneur, think about the things, right? And I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the, the two-sided thing. If you're in a company, you need to start thinking about the things that really contribute to the money line in this company. What is it that really makes this company tick? This is why a receptionist, as important as he or she is, as important as they are, to be in the front facing part of the business, they're not going to get paid the same amount as the top salesperson who's connecting with clients. Crucial job, right? Cru I mean, the, the, the receptions at, at, at my office, I mean, these, they're, they're, they're amazing. They, they're bilingual. You can't get it down here in Latin America. You can't get a job as a receptionist in any decent place unless you speak at minimum two languages fluently. So these are amazing, smart people, but they're not going to get paid as much as the top salesperson who is bringing in, you know, a million dollars, two million dollars on a client, you know, each month. It's just not going to happen because this person is just happens to be closer to the money line, right? So that's kind of the way I look at it. So I'm encouraging everyone out there to go out and think about the skills that you want to get, that you need to get to get yourself closer to that money line. On the entrepreneur side, it's the same kind of way. If you're saying you're an entrepreneur, and I mean a real entrepreneur, not the Instagram entrepreneur. It's another joke from yesterday. Not If you're out there calling yourself a CEO, the chief executive officer, but there are no other executive officers in your organization, chances are you're probably not a, you know, you're probably not an entrepreneur. You might be a freelancer, a big freelancer, fine, but you're not really an entrepreneur, entrepreneur. But for the entrepreneur, entrepreneurs out there, it's the same thing. Think about the, the business that you're building and what is the actual money line that's running through it. You want to make sure that you and your top people are spending more time on those tasks and you're delegating things that don't really contribute that much to the money line, right? You want to make sure you can put more of your time, more of people's valuable, more of the high value people's time into pushing the things that are on that money line versus spending time on the skills that are, you know, kind of peripheral out there. So that's, that's, that's my take on what people need to do with skills and money.